The next unit in the course is titled Continuous Time Fourier Series. In this unit I'll begin by introducing a representation technique for periodic functions known as Fourier Series and present a number of properties that Fourier Series possess. Then we'll look at how Fourier Series lead naturally to the notion of what is called the frequency spectrum of a function. And in addition we'll also examine how Fourier Series relate to linear time invariant systems. In the material that follows, we're going to be looking in detail at a mathematical tool known as continuous time Fourier series. So essentially a Fourier series is a representation technique for periodic functions. And what's special about Fourier series is it represents a periodic function as a linear combination of complex sinusoids. And the reason why the choice of complex sinusoids is important is that complex sinusoids have a number of nice properties. They're always continuous, they're always differentiable, they're also easy to integrate and differentiate, but perhaps most importantly of all, complex sinusoids are eigenfunctions of LTI systems. So Fourier series are often very useful when we're working with LTI systems because they're representing a function, namely a periodic function, in terms of eigenfunctions of the LTI system. And we can often exploit this eigenfunction property to our advantage to simplify problems that we're trying to, to solve, which involve LTI systems.